Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please all kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Good San morning. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Blessed is the Virgin, who by denying herself and taking up her cross, imitated the Lord, the spouse of virgins, and the prince of martyrs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Agnes, Virgin and Martyr. May we imitate her willingness to give her life to Jesus and to consecrate herself to Him. Let us now be sorry for our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who chose what is weak in the world to confound the strong, mercifully grant that we who celebrate the heavenly birthday of your martyr, St. Agnes, may follow her constancy in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, 
to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests. But the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The main point of what has been said is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle that the Lord, not man, set up. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus, the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are those who offer gifts according to the law. They worship in a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary. As Moses was warned when he was about to erect the tabernacle, for God says, See that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry, as he is mediator of a better covenant, enacted on better promises. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you, and may those who love your salvation say ever, the Lord be glorified. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Please stand. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many 
And as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Agnes, a virgin martyr who was venerated by the early church in Rome as early as the 4th century. Agnes was about 12 or 13 years old when the son of the Roman governor wanted to marry her. But Agnes had already consecrated herself to God. She has already given herself to Jesus. And so she resisted the proposal of the son of the Roman governor. And because of that, the son of the Roman governor threatened her that he will accuse her of being a Christian. At that time, it was against the law to become a Christian. And so when Agnes was accused of becoming a Christian, even though she was still very young, 12 or 13 years old, she was sentenced to death. She was beheaded because of her faith. In St. Agnes, my dear brothers and sisters, we see a person, even though very young, who belonged to Jesus and who was willing to offer herself to Jesus. St. Agnes by offering her life to Jesus and for her faith, shows us that she is truly a follower of Jesus, who according to our first reading today, is the high priest. Jesus, according to the letter to the Hebrews, is the high priest. And as a priest, Jesus also offers sacrifices. The sacrifice of Jesus is not just any holocaust, any animal offering. The sacrifice of Jesus is his own life, his body and blood, his whole self. And so in imitation of Jesus, who gave his life for us, St. Agnes was also very willing to offer her life to Jesus. If our feast day today of St. Agnes and our first reading today about the priesthood of Jesus Christ talk of offering when we turn to our gospel, we hear of the many people from different places who came to Jesus in order to be healed of their illness and in order to be freed from possession by the devil. People were coming to Jesus because they need something from the Lord. They want to get something from Jesus. Healing, freedom from evil possessions. Because Jesus does miracles, then people go to him and people expect miracles 
from him. These people came to Jesus because they want to receive something from the Lord. We do not know if they really believe in Jesus. What we know is that they go to Jesus because of their need. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we are like these people. We also go to Jesus because we need something from Him. Nagdarasal tayo, nagsisimba tayo, dahil may kailangan tayo kay Jesus. May gusto tayong makuha mula kay Jesus. Gusto nating sagutin ni Jesus ang ating panalangin. Gusto nating pagalingin tayo ni Jesus. Gusto nating makatanggap ng biyaya mula kay Jesus. We go to Jesus because of a need. My dear brothers and sisters, why are you here today? Why are you participating in this Mass today? Is it because you need something from the Lord? Is it because you are asking something from Him? Or is it because you want to offer something to Jesus? You want to give something to Him? My dear brothers and sisters, May we be like St. Agnes. Let us go to Jesus, not just to ask, but also to offer. Not just to receive, but also to give. Please stand. The Father sends His only Son to heal us. We are confident that He can heal the whole person, body, and soul. So we pray to our Father through His Son. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the burden of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may never close our hearts to those in need but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal needs. Let us also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. God of the living, help us to continue the work of Jesus to bless and to heal so that we can make his gospel truly good news to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agnes win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Agnes, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Agnes, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agnes a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that, bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sala, who's on the 
Maria in Hanang Awan. 